Folks, believe it or not, I know you can't really see me right now, but uh, this is the half to do for the minute. Officially, <laughs> welcome back to the Ad Blue Calendar. It's so good to have you back this year, so good to get it started again. Um, what the crack is this morning, it's half four. This is usually the time I wake up, up at most mornings nowadays, because uh, that's my house now. So, I've been living here now about what about three weeks, four weeks maybe S since the last week in October, we're living here. Uh, I'm absolutely loving it, honest to God, I really am. Oh, it's just uh, a bit of an extra commute for me, but sure, look, it is what it is. The Focus is a funny car, but I'll, I'll get to explain that another day. Right, let's get to work. short there basically I had a, a Tesco depot to do first that was booked in for 6 a.m. so I went there first did that got it offloaded real handy before 7 now I have my next trailer and I'm off to Tipperary I have uh, a couple of drops so I have one one in Ross Grey one in Ross Grey two in Nina and then one in Carmel on the way back and apparently I meant to drop a trailer and pick a trailer in Clonmel so Fun and games, fun and games, but once it's not a container, I don't mind. <laughs> now, the question I get asked a lot, like, I mean, I get asked this question probably once, maybe twice a day. Um, people always say to me, Ian, how do you get an Arctic job if you're under 25 and you have no experience? Well, this is a very, 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 very it's a very delicate matter. Um, me, I was very, very lucky that my uh, that my father that owns the business, so he did have to pay an insurance premium to have me on his policy. Um, we actually had a, another couple of younger guys as well uh, that are under 25 as well that are now driving Arctic. Uh, I think they're we're all near enough the same age anyway. But uh, there was an insurance premium for that, and a lot of you are probably thinking, ah, insurance premium is probably only a few bob. Trust me, it's it's a couple of thousand more. Like it's not it's not cheap. So it's uh, it's tricky. It's tricky to you know delve around, and it is hard to find an employer that will take you on. But what I find, or what if you're if you're kind of how do I put this? If you're asking the question and you're not proactively trying to do something about it, stop asking the question. Do you get what I mean? Basically, what I'm trying to say is is that like don't be going around. Oh, I can't get a job. Oh, I can't. I'm under 25. Oh, how am I gonna do it? Oh, I don't know. Go out and ask. You know, 
know what I mean? Go out and ask people. Go out and approach companies and say, look, I know you are uh, over 25 is only, but if you if you'd like to take the chance on me, or, or you know, or gonna do a trial and you know see how we go or whatever, and that's the easiest way to do it. Also, another another good way, I suppose, of trying it. Get in the Facebook groups, like the container pages or the I don't know whatever other pages there are. I know in Ireland there's a couple of different uh, trucking pages. In the UK, I'm sure it's the exact same. So I'm sure there's even more of them in the UK. Um, so just go on to them and just portray your case over there. Just say, look, I'm from the Dublin area. I'm looking to get a job. I'm under 25 and I have no experience. Is there anyone that will take a gamble on me? Now a lot of people or a lot of companies do is they put you out with a man for a week so maybe they bring one of their experienced drivers out he gets you to drive and he'll just sit in the passenger seat and he'll watch what you're doing for a week i don't know if you'll get paid it's all down to trial and error so um there are a, a couple of companies taking on but in ireland it's you know you could be from cork you could be from dublin you could be from galway i don't know like i don't know where you're from so proactively chase the job so if you're, don't be asking me, because I can't get you the job, but I will put it out there that there are a lot of under 25s now up and coming and getting their licenses, and they want to go out and drive. So as I was saying, get into the Facebook groups, pick up the phone, ring them and say, how are you, I'm whatever, I'm 21, 22 years of age, I'm out to get my license, it's what I want to do. Uh, I spent thousands getting the license, so would you mind giving me a trial or whatever? And I'm sure 99% of companies will be delighted to get a good driver. Do you know how rare it is to get a decent driver that doesn't just up sticks in the morning and heads off to another company, you know? So, try that, see if it works for you. Um, over the Christmas period or over the Abdul calendar, I'm gonna an be answering these questions every day. I'm gonna stick to one question a day and that's usually gonna be the title of the video. I actually robbed this idea from Bob Flavin, but I'm gonna do it on YouTube and do it on what I do. So if you have any other pressing questions uh, of the HGV industry, uh, of the commercial industry, of the sales industry, anything like that, just leave them down below. I'm gonna pick the best one for the day after and then that's the way I'm gonna do it. And then the other special videos that are in between all these videos will have their own separate title. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this idea because I think it'll be a good one and I'll get to more uh, questions like um, how much do we get paid? How much uh, hours can you do in a week? How does the taco work? Blah blah blah, stuff like that. So stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already because there is a new video every day in December. So why wouldn't you subscribe? I don't know. So it's the end of the day. Filling this beast up with diesel for the morning. Please excuse the road train trailer. Nothing to do with me. Oh, lovely. What is this? Uh, nothing to do with me. I'm just dropping this back, doing a favour. Um, what is that coming from now? I have to figure out where that came from. I, it, there was a bit of me jumper earlier on, but I didn't think there was that much. I should go and... Sh oh, no way. It's in me gloves, is it? Where are my gloves gone? Anyway, we shan't mind the grease. Well, that's filling up. Uh, I'm going to get to explaining. So, I'm going to go home now. Well, I'm going to drop this trailer on a bay for a road train. Gonna fly across, get my car, fly home, get some dinner, maybe get a walk in, depends because it's what six o'clock now and yeah, probably won't be home for another hour and a half. So we'll see. After we get the dinner, we'll see. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the first episode to well the first proper episode to Abilou Kandar. Tomorrow will be better. We're actually doing a big load of steel tomorrow. It's actually a handy enough day for a Friday, which I can't believe, so it might not go to plan, so find out tomorrow. Um if I continue on this video, you'll see you now in a few minutes.